Today's video is sponsored by GVG Mall, where you can get a Windows 10 serial key for only $17. And by using my discount code, you get a 20% off discount, making it even less $14. After the payment, you'll receive the serial key, and to activate it, just go to your Windows settings and introduce that same key. And voila! You have an activated system for only $14. Hello guys, I'm Shitgame Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco, and today we have a new video. Today's video is about how to properly install AMD drivers and I'm making this video because it seems like people do not understand. People do not understand. Also I'm recording outside because it's a beautiful day, you can actually, I think you can actually hear the the, um, the birds bur doing its thing, like the birds birding. <laughs> like I said before, I'm making this video because People tend to ask me a lot, how do you think it's, it's the, the correct way to install drivers? And I'm telling you this, the following, with my experience in the matter. So I've uninstalled and installed drivers dozens of times, way more than that, but at least dozens, a lot of dozens of times. So I think this, the following, is the best way to do things. So the first thing is to actually uninstall any driver and chipset driver that you have in your computer. If you have a Ryzen CPU, you have also an AMD, a, an AMD motherboard, so you must have installed chipset drivers. So uninstall the chipset driver first, then use the DDU display driver utility, I think, um, or the AMD cleanup utility to actually remove your GPU driver. So use the control panel as usual as you are removing a game, as you are uninstalling a software, another program. Do the same way to uninstall the chipset drivers. As for the, the GPU drivers, once again use DDU or AMD cleanup utility to actually remove the GPU drivers. After that your PC will reboot and now you can go to the AMD website, select your GPU version, uh, imagine if you have an RX 5700 XT, go there, GPUs, uh, RX 5700 series, RX 5700 XT, select it and download the driver version you want, the recommended one or the optional one. Before anything, do not, do not forget to install chipset drivers because chipset drivers are a must with the new AMD drivers. <laughs> oh. So they are a must with the new AMD drivers. So if you have a Ryzen CPU, so if you have a Ryzen CPU, you need, you really need, it's not a, a matter of wanting or not, you need the chipset drivers for the drivers to work properly. If you have an Intel CPU, go to the Intel website, download the chipset drivers or simply uh, search on Google uh, Intel chipset drivers, for example, and they will appear. Do not go, do not go, I repeat, to your motherboard manufacturer website. If you have an AMD motherboard, uh, B350, X570, X470, go to the AMD, to the AMD website, for example, uh, select chipset drivers, AM4, and then select the chipset you have, B350, B450, X470, X570, select the one you want and simply download the drivers there, the chipset drivers there. And now you have what you need, you have the AMD drivers, the GPU drivers, and the chipset drivers, being them Intel or AMD. The final step is to actually install them. So, first of all, install the GPU drivers. This, in my experience, I've tried several times installing the chipset drivers first, but it seems, at least in the new Adrenaline 2020, that it works better if you install the chipset drivers after the GPU drivers. So, install the GPU drivers, reboot, install the chipset drivers, reboot again and see how things go. And yeah, basically that's it, that's as simple as it can be. Uninstall everything that you have related to drivers, 
do a clean install do not install uh, drivers over drivers if you can just do a clean install everything go to the amd website download the gpu driver download the chipset drivers or if you have an intel cpu and motherboard go to the intel uh, to the intel website and download their chipset drivers after that reboot install install the the new amd drivers reboot again install the chipset drivers and you are good to go well guys hope you enjoyed the video don't forget hit like subscribe and share this video if this video helped you in some way thanks a lot for watching and ne <laughs> and next videos will be about uh hardware testing again i i really think so maybe the the ryzen 5 3600 versus the i5 10 400f finally thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video